606, it's all hands on deck this morning to repair the damage to the Daniel Carter Beard Bridge, better known as the Big Mac Bridge after last week's fire. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine even declaring a state of emergency trying to speed up work as the traffic impacts build. And WLWT News 5's Nicole Aponte there as crews work to put out that fire just about a week ago now. Nicole, what happens now though? Kelly, you can see this road behind us and it's completely blocked off underneath the Big Mac Bridge this morning. Those road close signs also that fence blocking off traffic and pedestrian foot traffic too. But by the end of the week, crews could begin building the foundations of shoring towers that will be used to support the bridge and figure out what's needed for repairs. The towers will look something like scaffolding and once they're built, you'll see inspectors working to figure out how soon roads on and under the bridge can reopen. ODOT says three girders will need to be replaced. Governor DeWine's emergency declaration yesterday frees up federal funding to help with the process. ODOT says they're working as fast and as safely as they can, but they need people to stay out of the construction zone. You've got a structure that is not stable, and for people to be near it or to be under it, uh, is, it's very unsafe and it's very dangerous. Our crews spotted several people going into the work zone yesterday. You can see it in this video right here. While parts of Sawyer Point are now open for everyone to use, there are still some, par still some parts that are actually closed off. ODOT says give the crews the space and the time they need to complete these repairs. Reporting live this morning, Nicola Ponte, WWT News 5. Nicole, thank you so much.